Hey everyone, how's it going? Jacques T. Morris here in Atlanta, Georgia. Wanted to make this real quick video tutorial to show you step by step exactly how to place your team members in the system. I need you to follow this video and do it very, very, very carefully because some of you have already made some mistakes. So hopefully this will alleviate any mistakes moving forward. So here we go. When you log into your back office, you're going to see all this information here. Do not worry about any of that particular information. What you want to do is simply scroll down here. And what's going to happen is you want to click the button that says bottom left or the button that says bottom right. Again, you're going to click the button that says bottom left, bottom right. We're building a binary. We're putting one person to the left, one person to the right. But you have to put individuals on the outside. Okay, so let me show you exactly what exactly how that looks. So I'll click go to right bottom. And as you can see, it's going to bring up two boxes. Well, I'm to the right, but this is the inside right. You, you want to stay to the outside. If I were going to the bottom left, then I would come over here. But I'm coming to the bottom right. So, and, and, you, and again, you can see if I click the button and say go to the bottom right, it's just going to be right there. So, I will click on this um, X or whatever it is. And then I'm just going to enter in the information of the next individual that's going into the system. So let me go ahead and quickly do that. Now for the passwords, what I'm doing is just simply entering in one, two, three, four, five, six, keeping it very, very simple. And everybody can actually log in after um, they get into their account and change their password. So once you have all the information entered, now this Unilevel Direct Sponsor ID and Binary Direct Placement ID, do not change that information, okay? Do not change that information and do not put anything in for social security number or tax ID. So once all the other relevant information is in, just simply click submit. Now what I personally do is I take a quick screenshot image of all the information right here. And I do that with a little app that's called Jing, J-I-N-G. And I'll put a red arrow to the email address, the username and the password for the individual whom I just entered. And then that way I'm sending this information over to them directly on Facebook. All right, so you'll have the green confirmation. It'll say, congratulations, this particular person's account was encoded successfully. Once you see that green confirmation, all you need to do is click on account dashboard. You click on that button right here. It's gonna bring you back to the main screen then you'll just simply want to scroll down and next we'll go to left bottom and then we'll enter in the information right here to the far left. So again, that's the process is very, very simple. Keep it simple and just duplicate it all the way to infinity. OK, it's a binary. It goes left, right, left, right. You go to left bottom. Stay on the outside. Or if you go to right bottom, stay on the far outside. I hope this video is helpful. We'll see you on the next one.